today we discuss about uh, properties of uh, coordinate compounds coordinate compounds means uh, the compounds which are having coordinate bond they called uh, they known as coordinate compounds or coordinate covalent compounds so generally so already we know that uh, covalent coordinate covalent bond is treated as a semipolar bond so if you see the mechanism of it uh, it has two steps in first step uh, there is a formation of a positive ion negative ion in second step the sharing of electrons takes place means uh, the finally it appears like uh, the formation of a covalent bond but uh, it consists of uh, two natures ionic nature and covalent nature that's why we said uh, it has semi polar bond we said it has semi polar bond okay so therefore the properties are also the properties of this coordinate compounds are also exactly intermediate between ionic compounds and covalent compounds okay so we can so we can simply say the properties of a coordinate compounds are intermediate between between ionic and covalent compounds here main reason is uh, so because uh, the coordinate bond uh, is a semi polar so it is the reason they are showing the properties uh, between the properties of ionic compounds and covalent compounds okay so now we see the properties one by one okay see the first one the physical state okay so already in ionic compound what are the physical states that is generally crystalline solids so what are the covalent compounds physical states they are generally gases or liquid with a low boiling point so these are having may be solids liquids or gases okay so they exist uh, they exist as gases liquids and solids gases liquids even and solid state okay means uh, it is a combining of uh, both covalent and ionic compounds next see the empty melting points and boiling points so the melting point boiling point uh, we know ionic compounds having very high melting point and boiling point due to the strong electrostatic attraction forces between the ions and covalent compounds so exception diamond graphite so remaining covalent compounds are having low melting points and boiling point due to the weak van der waal intermolecular forces and between the molecules there is only weak van der waal forces are present find this uh, coordinate compounds 
they are having low boiling point than ionic compounds but high boiling point than high melting boiling point than covalent compounds okay mean they are exactly middle middle of the covalent compounds and their ionic compounds okay we can write uh, their melting point and uh, boiling points are higher than that of a uh, covalent compounds and lower than ionic compounds okay so this is about uh, melting point and uh, boiling points and let's see conductivity or nothing but we see the solubility solubility means uh, dissolving capacity okay so we know that ionic compounds are generally dissolves in polar solvents and covalent compounds generally dissolves in non polar solvents okay here they are less soluble the less soluble means uh, the simplest is sparingly soluble the sparingly soluble in polar solvents polar solvents means just like water which are having positive pole and negative pole H plus and O H minus, but they are easily, they are readily soluble. Means very easily soluble in non-polar solvents. So non-polar solvents means. Already we discussed about that solvents. They are readily soluble in non-polar solvents. Non-polar solvents uh, they are also known as organic solvents. <coughs> they are what you know? Chloroform. carbon tetrachloride benzene okay like this okay next Uh, see the fourth one that is a uh, conductivity so we know that uh, ionic compounds uh, ionic compounds are generally in crystalline form they are in solid state they are not conductors because uh, due to the absence of free ions but in molten state or nothing but fused state they are good conductors just like NaCl NaCl solid state law non conductor in the same way all ionic compounds in uh, solid state they are non conductors in molten or fused nothing but molten or fused or in their aqueous solution they are good conductors 
whereas in coal and compounds they are bad conductors the coal and compounds are bad conductors except to graphite uh, some uh, uh, non some polar uh, compounds like hcl so generally we can say coal and compounds are bad conductors in the same way the like coal and compound these are also bad conductors they are bad conductors of electricity like a covalent compounds okay uh, see the next property that is a uh, reactivity or uh, nothing but uh, okay reactivity okay generally these are also so they undergo molecular reactions in which uh, molecules involved in the reactions not exactly the atoms directly molecules involved in the reaction the uh, we can say simply they undergoes molecular reactions reactions and they are very slow okay the next the next property that is a isomerism so all we know the isomerism the definition of what is the definition of isomerism the chemical species having same molecular formula but they belong to different compounds having different compounds having same molecular formula they have total different properties but they are they are follows same molecular formula that is called isomerism okay so generally directional bonds directional bonds and the covalent bonds uh, follows the isomerism whereas in ionic bond they do not exhibits any isomerism as they are non directional bonds and it was non directional so non directional isomerism not at all possible okay now coordinate covalent bond is also like uh, sharing of electrons property so they also shows uh, they exhibit uh, isomerism so it is a uh, perfectly appear in a coordinate covalent compounds coordinate covalent compounds actually guys this coordinate covalent bond mainly present in uh, the compounds which are known as complex compounds so manaki general organic chemistry ante total carbon compounds gurinchi untayi you know that means uh, but total chemistry is a uh, special part of uh, the organic chemistry same adhe uh, model lo uh, inorganic chemistry lo uh, main special part in the coordinate chemistry or uh, nothing but uh, coordination or uh, nothing but about complex compounds antam uh, dani okay organic uh, chemistry oka uh, separate part at level complex compounds is a special part in that complex compounds there is a formation of many number of coordinate bonds are present means uh, they exhibit isomerism mainly in complex compounds we have a special lesson 
uh, on complex compounds okay complex compounds are also known as this complex compounds are also known as coordinate compounds directly because they mainly consist of a coordinate bond that's why complex compounds are generally known as coordinate compounds okay see the next one so there is stability so they are highly stable so just like co covalent bonds stable covalent compounds are stable they are also stable they are highly stable okay because here also sharing of electron is present next one so one the simple property is there dielectric constant so actually there is a very small information given uh, for this compounds property so main because uh, already it was totally mentioned in a complex compounds in a specific chapter that's why it is given only introduction for complex compounds or coordinate compounds so dielectric constant if you observe their values we can write that uh, they have high values of they have high dielectric constant values okay so these are the main properties of a uh, is there any other properties are there so, okay this is the uh, eighth one Okay. so these are the properties of uh, coordinate compounds it is not a uh, very not an important one but we must know about uh, this because some bits are there okay in the next class we compared the ionic bond and covalent bond okay right on